So the manuscript reviewers ask for a pathology-specific example of an ImageJS uh, module. So recalling from the previous video and the manuscript, this is best attempted in Google Chrome. And uh, I'll, following the, the, the same principles of assembling multiple modules by putting URLs, here is a quick link, bit.ly, ki67.js, as in JavaScript, that will take you to the combination of modules that need to be loaded to deal with the KI67 analysis of transmission microscopy images. Uh, there are other shortcuts that will take you to the same place. You are, of course, encouraged to create your own and, and actually to assemble your own modules any way you want. The KI67 module specifically expects Chromomarkers module to be there as well, again, following the layering approach described in the manuscript. So, an example of another a uh, shortcut that will take you to the same combination of modules is uab.mathbiol.org forward slash ki67. Now, quick explanation why, what is the nature of the problem of transmission microscopy images? So, unlike, say, confocal microscopy images, where each channel corresponds to a specific uh, measurement, in transmission microscopy images, often we have something like this, where, say, this region is clearly red, but when you look at the KI67 module operations, I encourage you to try them all. Uh, for instance, if you look for the red channel, you find out that red is actually represented all over. It just happens that it shines through this region here because the other channels are absent there. See, green is absent there, blue is absent there. Okay, so now back to the K67 images. Notice that you can just reload the module to reset it. And let's see, if you're using this one, glioblastoma. And this glioblastoma image is larger than what you displayed, there it is. But we'll focus on a specific region, so you can see uh, what image analysis processes are, are doing to the different features. So one of the operations developed was specifically for KI67 image analysis, which is this nuclei recolor. And the purpose of this module, of this operation, is to separate all nuclei, KI67 stained or not, from the background. So I can now go back to chromo markers and look for a region in the background, say for instance this one, and try to segment the nuclei out. So you see some nuclei here are still missing, and you may want to bring them in by decreasing the value of the threshold. Now this model is not supposed to automate the calculation of proliferation in case 67 stained images. It's supposed to document the way you do it such that the final value can be compared with the actual image. Like all other modules that transform the image, they are not removing the original image, they are just um, providing a different representation. So we can go back to the original image and find out what does this represent in the original, this segmentation represent in the original image. So let's imagine you are happy with the segmentation and now you calculate proliferation. Because you didn't capture the segmentations, you'll get the uh, error message saying that you have neither segmented out the nuclei segmentation nor the KI67 segmentation. So let's do the, capture the all nuclei segmentation we've just done and now move to the KI67 region. So we pick one of the brown spots and now using common markers again, increase the threshold and fill. We capture all the corresponding features. Again, let's imagine you're happy with this segmentation. You may not be there. A couple of places where maybe we are getting something we don't want. And again, now we go back to capturing, this time capture KI67. It's captured now, and we can now calculate proliferation. Alright, and uh, we get well represented here with the documentation of why and how this value uh, uh, was calculated this way. Let's imagine now that you want to change the way the KI67 labeled features were segmented out by considering only the really dark ones. So this will be just an example of how these multiple operations 
uh, within the CAS67 module of ImageJS can help you do it. For instance, you could use potentially this other filter, Invert Colors, which will highlight the, the, the darkest components here, they look lighter, the darkest uh, stainings, CAS67 stainings. So you just have to go back to Chromo Markers, which is still active, click on one of them, so you now have a pixel chroma marker and decrease the value of the threshold until you are not getting anything for instance, like this one here, anything that is not really really dark or in the inverted color really really light. And this is an example of an um, analytical experiment where you're trying to find out if the uh, value of proliferation would be much smaller or how smaller would it be had you considered only the darker regions. So it requires you to segment it again and to recalculate the proliferation values, which are, of course, significantly smaller now. Okay, so let's now do it all for a new image. You just have to click on Reload to reset the application. And let's look at this one. This image looks already clearer than the other, so let's activate Chromo Markers. Uh, let's, we could start by segmenting the K67 labeled regions. It doesn't really matter which one goes first. This looks good enough. Maybe a tiny little bit less. So you see that the browser is not in any way uh, slowing you down. This is a very efficient environment to do image analysis. It turns out it didn't used to be that way. Okay, so we are capturing K67 here. Now, even if the image is clear, why not use the nuclei recolor operation to separate the nuclei from the background? Choose background, decrease threshold, and this is good enough. Capture all nuclei. So, within less than 30 seconds, you are able to calculate proliferation and document this calculation uh, with the original image with the, segment the segmented regions highlighted in it.